everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about my running essentials and what I use for running, um, the gear that I use, uh, all that kind of stuff. This is um, probably mainly for beginner runners, those that are thinking of starting, about, uh, starting running but don't know what they need in order to start running. Most advanced runners have probably already got most of this gear, um, but maybe there's something that they've missed out or something that I have that they might not have and might find interesting. Um, so hopefully someone finds this um, this useful and they find something that they might need and hopefully it helps beginners um, that want to start running but don't know where to start. Um, so yeah, let's get to my running essentials and I'll tell you about them and what I use them for and why I find them important and all that kind of stuff. So let's get to it. So the first and most important piece of gear that anyone should have in their running kit is running shoes. Now I think I've mentioned this in another video, in, in fact I'm pretty sure I mentioned it, which is to get a gait analysis and get your shoes fitted ready for running. And that's purely because it can help stop injuries and you need to make sure that your shoe fits right otherwise you can get blisters from not having the right shoes. So definitely get a gait analysis. So I have these ASICs, these are ASICs Gel um, Cumulus 15s and they're a bit worn out and dirty, sorry about that, um, but they have been the shoe that I've been using for quite a while now and I um, am in the middle of swapping them to these. Now I usually stay with the same brand of shoe, so I usually go for an A6 every time, that's usually what I go for, but these are New Balance and I want to try them out and see whether they will be a shoe that I can use. Um, so I've got these for the moment um, and I'm breaking them in, don't just go out running in a new shoe, you need to break them in first because otherwise you can get blisters and injuries from that as well, so make sure you're walking them around the house, take them on short runs, just generally walk in them and just break them in like you would a normal shoe. So my next essential is to have a good sweat wicking t-shirt. So I usually wear like race t-shirts. Race t-shirts normally come sweat wicking. This is just the one that I got from National Lottery when I ran it. Um, sweat wicking um, takes sweat away from your body and brings it to the um, top layer of the fabric um, so it can evaporate. I usually light and cool um, Unlike if you wear cotton t-shirts, they can get um, quite heavy and damp when you sweat. So they're not really good for running, but definitely a good sweat wicking t-shirt is good for running. So I've obviously, like I said, I've got the National Lottery one. And I've also got Karen Moore um, sweat wicking technical t-shirts. And they work pretty well. I usually just stick to those two, Karen Moore and my National Lottery t-shirt. And they work just fine for me. Um, so yeah, um, you can also get t-shirts like this, so this is what I'm wearing at the moment. Um, I think this is a Crane, I think this is from the brand Crane, but you should probably get long sleeve t-shirts as well as um, short sleeves for the colder weather, um, just to keep you warm. Um, and then we have um, crops or shorts or long tights. So I've got a long sleeve pair of tights here and these are from Ron Hill, they're just a really long pair of tights, usually wear them for winter, I'm not wearing them at the moment so much because it's quite warm out when I'm running. Um, and then I've just got just a basic pair of Nike shorts, I use them for the summer and then at the moment I am wearing these um, Caramore crops, um, so they've got pockets in either side of the either side of them and they've got a pocket at the back um, and crops are really good if you don't want to wear shorts because it's too cold but you don't want to wear long tights just in case it's too warm so crops are pretty much what I wear at the moment. You need to have like a wide range of clothing to wear for different weather. Also for women in particular you really need a good sports bra. Um, you need high impact sports bra for running, um, there's no question about it at all. You need to make sure that you um, have a high impact sports bra that's going to keep them um, secure um, to your chest so there's no bouncing around. You need minimal movement and get a good sports bra. So I have a couple. I have 
just a Marks and Spencers one. This is the one that I use. Uh, this is underwired, but I'm, um, since surgery, I couldn't really wear them as much. But this was a really good sports bra when I when I used to wear it before. The one that I've switched to recently is Shock Absorber, and I pretty much wouldn't move from this brand at all. I've bought this in loads of different colours and they're just the best brand for sports bras that I've found so far. But yeah, ladies, get a good sports bra for running. Um, do not use the ones that you use for yoga and stuff like that. They just don't support you at all. And once gravity takes hold of your boobs and um, the ligaments and stuff like that start to stretch, there's no getting them back into place. So it's better to um, do it now and get a good sports bra. The last piece of um, clothing is a good pair of socks. Um, now I recommend socks that come to at least your ankle or above the ankle. So normal socks do fine for me, um, or you can get the trainer socks, but I would make sure that the trainer socks come up to at least your ankle. Because if you have trainer socks that don't and they come lower, I've found that when I've worn them and I'm running in them, the sock can slip and then you either have to stop to pull them up or they just cause like uncomfortableness when you're running. Um, so I definitely recommend a good sock. You can get socks that have like padding in them to give you extra support. You can get anti-blister socks and stuff like that, but I don't really use them. I just stick to normal socks. But yeah, that's it for clothing wise, as far as I'm, oh, other than um, a good lightweight jacket. Um, so lightweight jackets are good for when it's drizzling outside, um, when it's raining and you need a bit of waterproof, when it's windy and you need wind resistant, get a good lightweight jacket. Um, this is a, a Brooks Nightlife 3 I think. Um, most lightweight jackets also come with like reflective strips for when you're running at night and stuff like that. Um, but this is pretty much essential so I run with that when I have like a t-shirt underneath and you can always take it off because it's lightweight you can take it off and tie it around your waist if you get too hot so definitely invest in a in a good lightweight jacket that's windproof and, wa and water resistant um, but yeah other than that I don't think there's anything else clothing wise um, that you really need to get now something else that is essential for me and probably other um, more advanced runners is a GPS watch. Um, so this is mine, I've got the Garmin 620, um, they're probably not essential for beginners. Um, you could probably get an app like Runkeeper, Endomondo, um, there's loads of different run tracking apps just to um, keep a log of your runs so you can see where you're improving, how much distance you've done what your pace is like and all that kind of stuff. My next essential is to obviously have my phone with some decent music and a playlist and some decent running headphones. So the ones that I have are these, they're the Yorba Yur Inspire for women I think um, and they have been pretty awesome for me. Um, they don't come out of my ears. They have like a almost a lock system, so you put them in, you twist them, and they lock in place. They've got almost like a silicon feel to the, um, the actual earbud, earbud part of them, so they kind of stick to your ear. And when you sweat or you're doing any sort of high activity, like running or anything like that, they don't fall out for me. Um, so they've been pretty good. One thing I will say is that if you're looking for a pair of running headphones, obviously you may not want these ones, but look for something that allows you to hear the noise. You don't want any noise cancelling headphones, just because if you've got the headphones in and you're running where there's traffic, you want to be able to hear the background noises. You don't want them completely blocked out, that's dangerous. I usually just run with one in anyway. Um, so yeah, that's that. And then the next one is something that I got very recently. Now it's not an essential, it's an identity tag. Um, now you hear of st such sad stories about runners that have been hit by cars. ID tag of some sort um, is really good for runners. Just in case anything does happen, then all your details are on here. So mine was sent from Tag Tagnix. Um, I'll leave all the links to everything that I've talked about in the video in the description um, but yeah I got mine from Tagnix it's just an engraved tag 
It's got a silence around it and it just has my name, my date of birth, my emergency contact number and his number on there. So obviously my emergency contact is Philip. So I just think these are um, a just in case item. You don't have to get one, but I think they're helpful if anything does happen. Uh, a water bottle. So um, I think a water bottle is pretty essential. You don't really need them for shorter runs, um, but long runs, definitely, you need a water bottle. So this is Nike, this is Philips, because I have a pink one, but I can't, I've misplaced it, I can't find it anywhere, but this is the water bottle that we use, so this is one from Nike. Um, it's got an anti-spill cap, so um, you have to squeeze the bottle in order to get the water out, so if you drop it or anything like that, all the water doesn't come out. Um, but a water bottle is, um, essential for hydrating yourself especially on long runs and i think that that's it i've i think i've covered everything that i use in my running kit if there's anything else that anyone thinks that i might have missed out where it's pretty essential then please leave them in the comments and people can read them and see other people's suggestions but i think that i've covered everything um i hope that this is helpful for beginners that might need running kit i know that it might seem like a lot um, for someone to buy if they're going to start out running but you don't really need to replace the items that much um, they don't they're expensive right at the start um, but once you've got them and you've got everything in place you don't tend to need to buy them um, very often so in the long run um, you don't spend that much money um, and obviously running is really good for exercise and improving your cardiovascular health I think it's a pretty good investment really um, but yeah, like I said, if you um, found this video helpful, then please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, or you have any suggestions for any running videos that you want me to do, then leave them in the comments. I will leave it there, because I'm sure I've rambled on a long time about this. Um, I hope you all have a good rest of your weekend, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!